Bhagavan. There is definition of Bhagavan. Not that any rascal advertises himself Bhagavan and he becomes Bhagavan. No. Parashar Muni, father of Vyasdev, gave us what do we mean by Bhagavan. Bhaga means opulence. And ban means one who possesses opulence. Just like we have our practical experience, anyone who is very rich, he is attract, he becomes attract. Many men go to him for some favor. One who is very influential, he becomes very attract. One who is very famous, he becomes attract. One who is very learned, wise, he becomes attract. One who is very wise, he becomes attract. And one who is in the renounced order of life. Renounced order of life means one who possesses everything but renounces, does not use it for his personal benefit. Just like a person who is very charitably disposed, he gives everything to the public, he is also very attractive. So these are six kinds of attraction. So Bhagavan means one who is in full possession of all these attractive features, he is Bhagavan. Not any rascal loitering in the street and becomes Bhagavan. No. That is misleading. We do not know what is meant by the word Bhagavan. Therefore, we accept any rascal as Bhagavan. Oishadjasa samagras reaches. There are many rich men in Bombay city. But nobody can claim that I am the possessor of all the riches. All the bank money or any money there in Bombay, that is my money. Nobody can say. But Krishna can say, Vaisajyasa samagrasa, samagra riches, not paltry portion of it, samagra. Aishadyasa samagrasa bijasa. Strength, influence, bijasa. Jasasa, reputation, fame. Just like Krishna spoke this Bhagavad Gita five thousand years ago, but still it is adored all over the world not only in India, but all over the world. Bhagavad-gītā is known in any country, irrespective of religion or faith. Everyone, any intelligent man, any scholar, any philosopher reads Bhagavad-gītā. That means Krishna is so famous. Everyone knows. So, Vaisadyasa, and when he was present, he showed his riches. Narodmani wanted to see how Krishna is managing his sixteen thousand wives, sixteen thousand one hundred eight wives. So, when Narodmani came, he entered each and every palace. There were 16,108 palaces or marble palaces 
bedecked with jewels. There was no need of electricity or light at night. All the palaces were so bedecked with jewels. And the furnitures are made of ivory and gold. Opulences. The gardens are full of parijat trees. And not only that, Narad Muni saw that Krishna was present with each and every wife and he was doing different types of business also. Somewhere he was sitting with his wife, children, some, somewhere marriage ceremony is going on of his children, somebody, so many, all, not one kind of engagement. So this is called opulence, riches. Not that possessing a few tolas of gold one become God, no. Bhoktaram Jagadavasam Sarvaloka Mahesaram. Sridam Krishna declares that I am the supreme enjoyer. Bhoktaram Jagadavasam Sarvaloka Mahesaram. I am the proprietor of the planets. That is richness. Power, so far strength and power is concerned. Krishna. When he was three months old, on the lap of his mother, he killed so many demons. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. 